जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्रिक बर्ज लाइव आई एम गौरव कपूर विद मी मिस्टर जॉय भट्टाचार्य द प्रोफेसर स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द लाइब्रेरी ऑल्सो विद मी द गन शो स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द जिम मिस्टर साइमन डूल We've got the brains and we've got the brawn. Yeah, look at you guys. How do you like that? How do you like, like that reputation? Yeah, What's your reputation to have. Yeah. Right? I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy with that. And now, if you and and you will say, and I know you will say a lot of intelligent things as well during the show. <laughs> so you'll just add on to yours. Yeah. 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 And what do I do? I exercise. Just, <laughs> come on. Just give us a little bench press here. <laughs> Did you do the gym today? I went. Plenty of time. Yeah, I went. Yeah, yeah, plenty of time. No, no. Today I didn't. Yesterday. Okay. Didn't. So you didn't today. You can do it now. If it rains or something, well, maybe we'll get you to do twenty push-ups, push-ups or something. Yeah? <laughs> that can be a little rain dance. All right, the game that is happening today is Gujarat is playing Rajasthan, and this is happening in uh, Jaipur. Uh, Rajasthan, of course, on a roll, a roll of rolls. They are uh, four from four, uh, and for Gujarat, well, they've had two games that they would like to forget. Two games that you know you felt, and this is the thing with the Gujarat of the first two seasons. these are the kind of situations that get themselves into iffy situations and then they'd win it right they'd be in losing positions and win from there this time they've been in advantageous positions and lost two games from there yeah and it's unlike them isn't it it's unlike that set up to uh, to sort of falter when they are in those sorts of positions we just kind of got used to tiwatia winning a game or or miller winning a game for them or someone doing something with the ball and uh, just hasn't quite gone their way this year it's been a few couple of injury worries couple of little changes that they've had to make along the way which has probably meant they haven't quite got off to the starts they've wanted to get off to with the bat um there's glimpses there yeah but you know any team you take away the two best players or two of the better players from any team and particularly your number one strike bowler mm. uh, it's just a massive loss take yeah. bumrah out of mumbai and it has happened before and yeah. it's happened and you see what can happen yeah and so you know it's tough for them um and they've been close but they just haven't quite been able to get there yeah. but actually if you think about it their first match which they played against mumbai was gujarat of old and that's right you know <laughs> yeah. nothing right. Right. you know yeah. mumbai cruising then somebody yeah. comes and takes a few wickets yeah. something happens and send, suddenly mumbai is 20 short yeah. and i think that we saw that and said okay shami gone everyone gone it's mm. still business as usual Yeah. but clearly maintaining that over a point of time is difficult and also what's happened is his injuries have forced him to change lineups a lot which is not something they really like doing you yeah. know they like to stick with players and all and i think that sort of unsettles them as a you know as a team you know sudarshan opening riddhiman injured somebody else injured and i think gujarat is very good as a team when everyone knows exactly what he or she is to do fair point whenever you're bunging in somebody from outside who's not part of the original 11 mm. they're not always clear about okay what is it that i am supposed to do and i think that's one of the issues and and the thing is it's such a valid point mohammad shami and we spoke about it before the tournament began how big a loss mohammad shami would be uh, not for us at cricket buzz has been a big gain <laughs> because he's part of our panel now uh, but yeah on the field for the gujarat team of course a big loss we're not saying they become toothless because that's disrespectful to uh, the other bowlers but there is even with your set of teeth right there are some teeth which are more important for your chewing <laughs> right for example your masticator yes, your molars right? yeah the molars they're more more important so it's like the bite the, yeah. that bite is gone because he got you and here's the thing so simon you'll be able to add on to this being a bowler so he got his 27 28 wickets but while he is attacking he also lays the foundation for mohit to get wickets in the end for rashi to get wickets in the middle it's almost like it's the first domino that falls and then everybody benefits yeah correct and we'll talk more about the the rajasthan lineup because i think there's a, a great example of that with ashwin and chahal at the moment this season but yeah what he did what he does so well is he took wickets in the power play first and foremost so you're putting the opposition on the back foot you're creating pressure for the guy at the other end for as well and then you're allowing your spinners like rashid to come in when they have to go they have yeah. to go hard in the middle overs creating wickets for rashid as well so there's so many little things that that real impact that power bowler that that strike bowler 
gives you at the top of the order with the, with the brand new ball. And that's what he did so beautifully. And everything kind of rolled on from there nicely for Gujarat. So it, it's just a massive loss, as I say. Your number one bowler, probably you know, alongside Boomer, the premier fast bowler in the tournament in the last couple of years. When he goes missing, it, it leaves a hole. It leaves a massive hole. I think just one last point on uh, Gujarat and the performance we've seen. I think last time we also got a little confused by their batting order. You saw Darshan Nalkande come into bat at six, and Joy, you were the one to point out that he was batting at eight for his for his domestic for his, for his team, domestic right? team for Vidarbha. Yeah, uh, he was yeah. batting at eight. Uh, so you saw him come there. So there's been a little confusion there as well. And more than that, there are two big hitters. So that's what I'm not understanding, right? You've got Shah Rukh Khan, a big hitter who they bought for about seven and a half crores, who's not playing. And there's Abhinav Manohar, who we've seen as an impact sub the last season, uh, can really tonk the ball far. And they've needed that hitting with no David Miller available. Absolutely. And I just, it, it is inexplicable unless there really something is happening in the nets that we don't know about. But Shah Rukh Khan, I mean, it's literally, he is the player they bought as that big hitting six or seven who's going to sit out there. He was their designated finisher. And even the Gujarat management made statements to that effect when they picked him up in the auction. Hmm. And then suddenly they've gone off the boil with him and they've put in everyone. And again, uh, I know that Gujarat is a team, see, as a, we all know Ashish very well, and his philosophy is to take wickets. But I don't think giving that extra bowler Darshan Nalkande is doing anything to them when their batting just has no depth. Yeah. When Kavatia is, Kavatia is batting at six. Yeah. It's, too high. it's too high for him. Tewatia I mean, at six is just, I mean, Tewatia at six probably wouldn't play for Haryana at six. Hmm. But then who do they play where, right? Well, they've, well, they've tried to play Vijay Shankar at four, yeah. thinking he'll do Hardik's role, right? Where he can kind of hold it together yeah. and then he can hit a big We've seen him. He's in a yeah, few big sixes, so absolutely. he can do that. But that's not worked. It, it hasn't worked. Uh, and obviously bringing Williamson in, they had to bring Williamson in at three. Uh, we, look, we saw glimpses of Matthew Wade warming up. I would imagine that'll be a change if the game goes ahead tonight. That'll be a change yeah. in the in the Gujarat lineup and maybe um, Saisudashan back to three. Yeah, with, with Shubman and, and Matthew Wade at the yeah. top. But and just who who kept for them last match? Uh, it was uh, uh, Bhar uh, Bharat, Bharat. Uh, not Bharat. Uh, not Bharat. That's what. That's uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, we know this. Yes, we do. It's just, I, I kept, just I kept so many thinking changes, KS Bharat, just... but it's not KS Bharat. It's very similar. It's BR Sharat. BR, BR Sharat. Sharat. Yes. So Sharat. what they can do? <laughs> Sharat, not Bharat. Yeah. Sorry. If Wade plays. Then they can drop Sharath yeah. and mm. bring in one of Shah Rukh or Manohar. At yes. least that will give you a little yeah. bit more back. You know what? I think that may happen today. Mm. Yeah. I think that may happen today with just a glimpse of uh, Matthew Wade in training with the keeping gloves on. Mm. It seems like obviously Saha still is struggling with the niggle he had in the previous game. Uh, and it may be Matthew Wade there. They've got a feel for Kane Williamson. I mean that catch. For him to get out in a chase that was tailor-made for him. <laughs> you could not custom fit a suit better then that chase for Kane yeah. Williamson. Yeah, 100%. I mean, a terrific catch, wasn't it? It's sort of high up there on one of the catches of the tournament so far. And we've said it so many times with uh, Bishnoi, you give him an easy one, lob one to him and he'll drop it. <laughs> yeah. you, you make, him, make him work for it, make him dive for something. And, and he takes these spectacular catches. Um, the disappointing thing for me, I think, from a Gujarat point of view, and I know we've seen Raul Tuatia finish games off and, and finish them off brilliantly in style. He probably does it. Two to, he's done it two to three times a season for them, if not, if not four. But when he's not bowling, and if he's not working hard on his bowling, he kind of takes up a spot that he doesn't really deserve as a pure batter. Mm. Yes, he's a finisher. Yes, he's finished games off. But with that top order looking a bit thin, I want him to be bowling. Because if he gives me two overs, then he's a, then he's a dead set at seven. Seven yeah. or eight. He's a dead set at seven or eight. Because then you can actually get a couple of overs out of someone else whether it be um, Vijay Shankar, if he's going to play, and then you don't have, you can combat deeper. You can have a Shah Rukh at six or seven, and, and, and Tiwati are at eight, then have three other genuine bowlers, fill in a couple of uh, blanks here if Omarzai's back. It, it just, if he's not bowling, I just don't think, I just don't think he really gives them as much as he should. Yeah, there's no Tiwati bowling, there's no Vijay Shankar bowling. Mm. So there's, there's, yeah. yeah, exactly, and my point is this year's team, what traditionally Gujarat has done very well is to play with that one international batter in that top six and play with four interna three international bowlers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they, they're not strong enough in batting to do it this year. They've got to play two and two. Yeah. And I'm saying you may, may have to go to a situation where you go Wade and Williamson and say that I'm going to play, definitely going to pull Rashid. And then I'm going to decide between Noor and somebody else. Spencer. Or Jordan, I'm yeah. going to turn down and at least 
like in the last couple of in the last match they didn't even have Omar Zai yeah. because Omar Zai can bat at three, four, or five. Yeah. They didn't even have Omar Zai, which meant you know Tevatia was batting at six. Yeah. So they have. So here's the thing: you take you take a team from one year, and the next year you take away Hardik Pandya, Mohammad Shami, and then David Miller to injury. Yeah. <laughs> you you're going to suffer. Redi Mansa at the top, you're yeah. gonna obviously it's gonna it's gonna suffer a bit. Well, on the other side, there's the Rajasthan Royals, and with the Rajasthan Royals, everything is going great, nothing is wrong. Moving on to the next team. Oh, there's only two <laughs> players. There's only two. There's only two playing today. So let's just discuss the Rajasthan Royals, and this is gonna be a completely happy, cheery, rainbowy picture. And the reason why I say rainbowy is because rainbows come after the rain. And we want the rain to stop. <laughs> So that we get a bloody game in, yeah. <laughs> Always want the rain to stop. Uh, just good news uh, from Jaipur is that the covers are off. The great thing about this good news is that I never gave you the bad news that it's raining. <laughs> right? I kept it to myself because I only wanted to give it to you when I could give you the good news. Because my mother used to say, "Beta shakal achhi nahi to baat to achhi karne." Right? Which trans loosely translated means, if your face is not nice, at least say nice things. At least say nice things. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> very good. Like there you go. So the covers are off. But for Rajasthan, uh, the great thing that that's uh, happening this time is that pretty much everything is working everything for them except yashasvi jaiswal yeah. who has been one of their guns in the previous season they've won four out of four so it's not like yashasvi is under any pressure he has reputation he has you know the cushion that the team is winning because he's played four games and scored 39 normally he bats four overs and scores 39 yeah. right he's made four games four innings and he's 39. So this is, I mean, by his standards, by anyone's standards, this is a proper nightmare. Yeah, and the strike rate's still good, so he's still going for it. He's just getting out to some shots that uh, I think he's almost taking on too much at, at the moment and trying too hard to hit the ball, hit the first, second, third ball out of the park. He's had some outside edges. He had a little bit of luck along the way as well, even though he's only got those 39 runs. And I'd just like to see him work his way into an innings. Mm. He doesn't have to hit every ball down the ground for six. He doesn't have to hit everything leg side. He, he just, I want him to work his way into the innings because he's too good a player to be playing some of the shots. At least two of the shots that I've seen him play yeah. have been quite agricultural. Yeah, and he's yeah. too good a player in my mind for that. But it's that, you know, it's a good position to be in because he's not in great form, but they're still winning. And with Butler finding form in the previous game or, or finding a big score in the previous game, that certainly helps their, their side so much. So they, they can afford to keep going with him. And they're never going to drop him. It's not, it's not even an option, and I don't think they should. But I'd just like to see him work his way into an innings for a little bit. Just hit a couple of nice cover drives and, yeah. and get yourself into an innings. Uh, I mean, the only advantage of being agricultural is that you get big plots that you <laughs> apparently I hear in India. Not that I would know. But uh, the thing with Yashasvi is, so, I mean, I'm sure we all agree that just his performances over the last year, year and a half, you'd put him on that plane, give him a boarding pass for uh, the World Cup, right? But you know how it gets during this time. Recency bias, a lot of openers doing well, a lot of Indians contesting for that spot. Now, with four games having gone bad, could that be playing in his head that maybe, just maybe, my spot is just in a, just a little doubtful? It, it could. It shouldn't because he's, 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 he is the most exciting Indian batsman for a long time. And we're talking about it in a crop that has Shobhman Gill, has all these other batters. Yep, yep. You see, he's still the most exciting. He got yeah. 600 runs last year in the IPL. Mm. He, he got runs when, you know, he opened with Josh Butler and Josh Butler was easily the second partner. It was yeah. a supporting cast. I mean, that's, you're talking about one of the top T20 batters in the world. So that's the kind of quality of player that we're talking about. And I think... The thing about him is the good thing is A, they're winning. B is that he's got a very calm coach like Sagakara yeah. who will put an arm around him and say, chill, relax. Yeah. Don't rush yourself. Take it easy. If there's a ball to hit, hit it. Yeah. I'm not asking you not to hit the ball. But don't force your shot yeah. early. If, you, if you're not going well, sometimes if you force your shot, which is what he was trying to do, you get out. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. They're a very calm unit. See, they've solved one of their problems. They moved Parag from 6 to 4 and they've got immediate results. Yeah. What it's done for them, therefore, is that Jurel can slot in now at 6. So now you've got the designated finisher of Jurel and Hetmaya. Yeah. So all those have worked out. And things that, you know, the person who's also actually done the most for them is Prasid Krishna. Because Prasid Krishna got injured last year. Mm. Not even this year, last year. And Prasid keeps getting injured, unfortunately. Great bowler otherwise. Who comes in? Sandeep Sharma. And you have a quality bowler like Sandeep Sharma and your team picked up for literally nothing yeah. as an injury replacement. 
This year they were smart. They said Prasid Krishna again, so they got in Avesh Khan before. Yeah. And lo and behold, Prasid was injured. Avesh came in. They didn't need once you get Parag at four, you don't need Particle at three. Mm. So yeah. Particle goes there. They didn't really need Particle, mm. and Parag then can bat at four. Everything is worked out, and I think what I've loved about it is I've looked at it last year. Remember, they were finalists two years back. They've looked at it last year, saw what it is, done these little adjustments, and look at them this year. Yeah, they. In fact, uh, Sandeep Sharma, when he was in, they would get Nandri Burger. They'd have Burger and Bolt up front. Mm -hmm. They'd have the two world class spinners. They'd get Sandeep and Avesh, uh, you know, down the end. Sandeep's missing the last two games. They're making do with five bowlers. Yeah, they are, and, and that. But they they can as well. They don't have to bring that impact substitute in as a bowler because they've got five world class bowlers. Yeah, you can get away with it, and we've seen teams get away with it from an opposition point of view. You've got to pick on one. You've got to target one and say, okay, we're going to try and take one down because then where do they go? What do they do? They have to bowl around Parag yeah. for a couple of overs or something along those lines. So from an opposition point of view, you've got to try and force the issue. Do what the opposition least wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Take down one of their big guns and force them, force their hand to maybe change something, do something a little bit different out of the ordinary. But so far, no one's been able to do that. Yeah. And that's been the key. Yeah, this, but it's also that how good have... And this is the the advantage of taking wickets in the power play. Now, when you compare both these teams, you compare Rajasthan and Gujarat, they've both been very good in the depth. Uh, and I guess Rajasthan will be good at every phase because when you've got eight points out of four games, you've pretty much aced every phase of the game. <laughs> but what Rajasthan has done very successfully is when you have Bolt and Berger in the power play, geez, that's relentless. Absolutely. You're going to get wickets. And you what remember was that you did, yeah, We did you that stat on Bolt, right? Yeah. Yeah. What was it? 28 times he's taken or 28 times he's taken a wicket in the first over? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think five times he's taken two wickets in the first tour. Yeah, and nobody's close. The, the, the next, next best was like six or seven, yeah, wasn't seven, it? Yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah. That'd be good difference. Jeez. How would any team... This, this, this guy, mm. Bolt, has been let go by both Mumbai and Delhi. Am I not and correct? Kolkata, of course. Yeah. They, oh, was he there as well? Yeah, yeah he was. Mm, you know that. Go, yeah, he was let yeah. go by Kolkata yeah. as well. It's just, this is a, a, a... I mean, things have gone right for Rajasthan in the... Like, this cycle yeah. has been good for them. If you remember before the auction, Joy, you were on the auction show the year that they bought Devdutt Padikal, the mega auction, mm -hmm. where we kept saying, you have four openers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's yeah, Jess yeah. One, many, Butler, uh, people Sanju's opened Sanju's a lot as well. And you have Devdutt Padikal. Padikal. How are you going to play? And, and you paid big money for him. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens, right? When you play big money, you're tending to play that yeah. player. And then you have this traffic jam. And as you said, with Gujarat, the problem is people are playing out of position. Yeah. Right? So you've got to play one person, accommodate the other. So it's a genius move, actually, the transfer. Absolutely. And the, and the one thing and I think we said this quite a few times last season the best thing for Rajasthan has been the impact player the impact substitute because they, they been, were playing six and five they, they were playing six and five and, yeah. and they, they couldn't really figure yeah. out a way last year they worked a little bit around the impact sub I don't think they got it right all the time but they've got it bang on they've got it bang on now and they've got five gun bowlers they can bring another one in if they want to in in a Sandeep yeah. um, to bowl at the only bowl at the death yeah you know so they've got all those bases covered really, really well now. And I think the impact sub has had the most benefit for Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. They always struggled with that, that just yeah. that all-round category or, or trying to find someone. Remember they had Jason Holder for a little bit yeah. as well. They, they tried some different combinations, but the impact substitute has made a huge difference. And obviously the form of, um, of Rian Parag has been exceptional. And that, that move to four has been superb for them as well. So they've got uh, you know, got a lot of boxes ticked, but we have seen them start well previously. Yes. And fall away. But I'll tell you one thing. You, yeah. If they get to five and zero, which is a possibility today, only two teams in the history of the tournament have gone five and zero. Them. One is them in 2015. Yeah. One is, of course, Punjab in 2014. And they just dominated uh, Glenn Maxey in yeah. Dubai. They lost just, the final that year, didn't yeah, they? They, they? They lost the finals final? to KKR and lost. Yeah. The next year, 2015, is fascinating because Rajasthan won five on the trot, okay, and then won two of their next nine matches. Oh, wow. They, they yeah, missed they, the playoffs. They, no, they played they the eliminator. They, yeah, they, they lost two, to RCB. Yeah, yeah they were yeah. two rainouts. They that's lost right. to RCB, but that's what. I mean, after 5 0, they were two and nine. Uh, two and nine. Okay, so then if you're a Rajasthan fan, you want your team to lose today for the health <laughs> of Rajasthan's <laughs> campaign. Or, or the other way of looking at it is saying that if you win five now, you can literally sit and wait and, you know, there's very little chances. So, you can lose seven. 
Yeah, you can After lose that, it yeah. and still qualify. <laughs> you still qualify. <laughs> it is so okay, there's uh, you know, I'm going to slide down the batting order of Rajasthan because there's another there's another burning question there, right? We were talking about the opener slot and there are many horses in that race for that opener slot. There's many, many more horses in the race for that keeper batter slot in the World Cup, right? I mean, I can rattle off seven or eight names, right? But but here's that. We've broken this up into two problems. Okay. okay? Yeah. So, our, the way we are looking at it so far yeah. is keeper, res, keeper, reserve keeper, reserve batter in top three. Okay. Because we assume Rohit and Kohli will open or Rohit and Jaiswal will open. So, one top three keeper and one finisher. keeper batter finisher. Yeah, I like so there it. Are two different categories you look at because you have to. You're going to the West Indies. You're going to carry two keepers, yeah, two people who can keep. Yeah. So think of who slots here and who slots here. Like one it. guy will probably play first eleven. One guy will probably be the reserve behind these yeah. two. I like this. I like this. There's a, there's a question that's come in on uh, Ask Crick Buzz Live actually from Akash Yadav. It says, given the form Sanju Samson is in this season, should he be India's first choice keeper batter for the T20 World Cup? Joy just told you he'll be the second. Yeah. He'll be the because he's top three. Well, that that's the thing. It's either that, that category that we talked about last night, and Joy and I did the, the post show last night. Ishan Kishan, uh, KL Rahul, Sanju Samson. Hmm. That that's the category of top one of those will go. One of those will definitely go because they cover your batting and they keep. Yeah. Okay? So you look at these numbers here. Sanju Samson's had a, a great start. Yeah. 178 at 59, great strike rate. Rishabh Punt, very good strike rate. So he's doing his role at five or six, wherever he may be. Yeah. KL a little bit low on the strike rate front. Ishan Kishan <laughs> high on the strike rate front, low on the average. And Jitesh has been pretty poor by, yeah. his, by his high standards. So when you break it up, you've got, what, Jitesh, Rishabh Punt, Dhruv Durrell. Yeah. Who else in that five, six? That, 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 those That's three the, would those you three? say the leading. So we're, we're sort of broken into two groups of three. Yeah. Sanju, KL, and Ishan Kishan, and then Dhruv Jarel and Jitesh and, and Rishabh Punt. One of those three has to play and start. Yeah. And then the, one of the other three goes as your top order cover and your backup keeper. Which is why nice. KL Rahul, when he came, okay, he made all the statements saying he wants to bat at five or six. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I think Justin Langer would have told him that, look, you're here to win for the franchise right now. Yeah. Mm. You're not here to get a position for you for the World Cup. Whatever conversation, we don't know what conversation has transpired, but mm. all the interviews before the tournament was he's going to play at five or six. Because he knows yeah. if he plays five or six, he has a chance of first 11. Yep. If you're going to, otherwise, if KL Rahul now slots in the top three, he, he's, he cannot bat ahead at this point in time of Jaiswal, uh, Rohit, uh, Virat. Virat. Yeah. You know what? There's a guy called Rinku Singh going, I should have picked up the wicket-keeping glove. <laughs> <laughs> but that, therein lies their biggest problem. Yeah. Because they he has to, to play. They yeah. have to find a place. He has to play. I mean, he's got, he's got a boarding pass. Yeah. He's got one of my boarding passes, Joe. And I've, he's the stingiest I've travel operator I've four. ever seen in my I've life. I've only given out four boarding passes. He's so only far. given out four. Okay. He's got one of them. Which are your other three? Bumrah, Captain. Of yeah, and Captain. Bumrah. Captain and Bumrah definitely go. Um, you gave Kuldeep. And I gave Kuldeep one. Mm. Yeah, because he has to go, I think, yeah. as well. He's a, he's probably the number one spinner to go outside of Jadu. Yeah. So, you know, I'll give Jadeja one now as well. So there's five. We're giving out five boarding passes so far. Is it a... This is not a... It's not a small plane, right? It's a big oh, plane. No, it's there a big are plane. more possible. It's a big plane. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's a big, it's a big plane. <laughs> and, and actually, what we've done is we've hired it. Yeah. We're not we're not travelling with others. Yeah. No, no, no. We've we've hired the whole plane. <laughs> it's we're a not, charter. Yeah, yeah, it's a charter. We're not travelling with anyone else. We're basically going straight in. Can I ask you guys a tough question then? Because you broke this down really nicely. Well, I like it. Out of these two groups, who is your front runner in each? So your one group being uh, KL Rahul, Ishan Kishan, and Sanju Samson. Who's the front runner right now for you? Uh, KL is still my front runner. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I experience um, big game situations. Uh, he, he's still my front front runner in that group. Okay. And yours? Uh, mine is Ishan. Just also just gives you a left-hand option up front. Okay. I mean, if of course, if Yashasvi, if Yashasvi is there, actually, no. I'll go with KL Rahul as well. You're right. Because if if you had three right-handers, I would have gone for uh, uh, Ishan. I think okay. KL Rahul would Because I was going to bat for Sanju and I was spoken. No one's batting for Sanju. Yeah. So I thought we'll divide it one all. But okay, <laughs> KL Rahul, interesting. And then out of the back three, the finisher role between uh, Jitesh, Rishabh and Dhruv Jarel. 
go for it, Joy. I'd say Rishabh. At this point yeah. in time, Rishabh, long way to go still because of fitness and let's see how well he holds up. Uh, my my only problem is that I don't think he's, I don't think he's still the player he he was. Yeah. But but even the then, with, uh, sorry, yours is. I, 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 before the tournament, it was Jitesh. Hmm. I, I haven't seen enough from him to convince me that he should get a boarding pass yet. And I haven't seen enough from Rishab yet to convince me he needs a boarding pass either. Yeah, exactly. I want to see him get through a tournament. Um, yeah, exactly. Healthy and fit. Wonderful to see him back. It's yeah. so, so good after what happened. I couldn't believe he was going to come back and play this tournament. Yeah. So first and foremost, that is an outstanding achievement to get the fitness levels up and the skill set up to be back and playing in the tournament. I just want to see him get through the tournament and I want to see him get quality runs. Yeah. Not just leg side slogging. Yeah. And, and I didn't like that at Vankati he came so late in mm. the chase against Mumbai, but yeah. apparently also his knee was, yeah. was a little yeah. dodge that day, which is perhaps why he came later. Because Maybe. otherwise, if it comes to taking responsibility of the chase, you know he'd be up front. Yes. Yeah, also, also when you're in even the KKR match, I mean, sometimes the match was blown by the time he mm. came in. And that's the point. Yeah. That then, the you know, that 55 of 6, those don't count for very much when you're... When you're asking is 15 and you're going at 12, yeah. those are those are you know those runs don't look that good. Are enough. you saying that MS's runs in the last over don't count for anything? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Trolls, pick up your phones. <laughs> pick up your phones now. <laughs> but uh, this is you are this doing. Is not a, you're doing a classic no. Twitter argument, which is saying that <laughs> you brought MS into the argument. I mean, I, I love the way yeah. you managed to finagle your way and yeah. bring classic MS. what about <laughs> yeah. There were you when, for me to hear. There were you when. Yeah. All and right. the fact that none of us have mentioned MS as a choice as a keeper for the World Cup. And DK, uh, because I know we need uh, DK at Crickbuzz Live, but come on, every <laughs> year a World Cup comes along in. <laughs> DK Sunday is like, I'll score 20 of 8 of 10 and yes, win the game for my man. Yeah, so that happens as well. But yeah, I think what uh, what Simon and Joy are saying sounds more of a realistic picture of uh, the situation. But listen, a lot can change because we're only one third, barely one third, right? Mm. One somewhere, but 30% into the tournament. So yeah, things change pretty. <laughs> rapidly around here. But yeah, kudos to Rishabh Pant. When this accident happened early last year, everybody was saying no cricket for him for two years. So for him to be back in a year and change, uh, I think that's just completely amazing. All right, the toss has happened at Jaipur. So there you go. I'm the bearer of good news again. Uh, Shubman Gale has won the toss and decided to field first. And uh, there are going to be some changes there as well. Your Just your read of the decision, has it got something to do with the conditions perhaps? Or... That more rain may come, so yeah, let's just chase. If, if rain does arrive, you want to be batting second. You, yeah. With the DLS structure of it, it does assist the side batting second. So that would be, I'm sure, in the back of the mind. And plus the fact that uh, it's a pretty good surface there. It, the boys talked in the pitch report about the fact it was quite um, windy, so they thought there wouldn't be much dew tonight. Uh, I don't know whether bowling second is going to be a huge disadvantage mm. uh, unless it rains. So, um, you know, they're, they're every chance. Uh, Sanju Samson also said at the toss that he would have won and chosen to bowl first as well. Uh, so, yeah, he would have, yeah, he would have done that as well. So, I guess they're no, all thinking... Uh, no, no, and look, rain means batting second. That is an automatic. There's no way, there's no other way because then you're in charge of your fate. Otherwise, you yeah. never know. You never know what target to set because you don't know how much rain is going to be, you know, coming in. Yeah. So that's a huge problem. So I think that is a given yeah. uh, under these circumstances. Now, I think it's a bit of an advantage, especially. But one of the things is that the days it rains, it normally do doesn't happen because yes. precipitation has already happened. Yeah. yeah uh, also, one, I mean, we I think we predicted both changes correctly for Gujarat. Right. So Matthew Wade is playing in place of Kane Williamson, and therefore Sharath is not playing, and Abhinav Manohar gets a game. So uh, you see what they're doing. They are wanting to get more attacking with yeah. their batting. So Fair. that's their bowling eleven then. That would yeah, those are the two changes they bought in. So we'll just get the team yeah. up in a second. But just in terms of their batting and in terms of them being confident it, it of the chase, gives them more depth. Yeah, it just gives them a bit more depth, and that's what we talked about. Um, mm. Just allowing that'll allow Tuati to bat at seven rather than six, and it yeah. just it just looks a little bit better on yeah. that front. And maybe they get that power from Wade. Up top takes a little bit of pressure off Shubman as well. Uh, just going to talk about uh, the bowling. And we touched upon this topic a little earlier with Shami missing and not getting the wickets in uh, the power play. A lot of pressure comes on the other bowlers. You then, as the opposition, look at this bowling lineup and say, all right, who's the X factor here? It's Rashid Khan. 
Now we're not getting pressure from anywhere else. We can just kind of play him out and make sure we don't give him a wicket because that's what's happening. He's not being able to get those wickets because uh, there's, there's nobody no pressure else. applied. There's no yeah. pressure applied. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think that's the problem. Even look, Mohit Sharma is a very very good bowler. But Mohit Sharma is a support bowler. Hmm. So Mohit Sharma will get wickets when somebody is trying to force the pace against him at the end. Or he'll get wickets when somebody can't hit Shami and needs to get runs off. He's the second guy. Do you get it? So he'll, yeah. he'll benefit when yeah. the other the guy is doing it. Yeah. The, he's the, the wingman. Wing he's the wingman. Yeah, he's the wingman. But a very good wingman. He's yeah. an excellent wingman. Yeah. And he's bowling well at the death still. But that's the thing. Similarly, that's... Rashid needs at least some pressure to be put up front. Mm. If there's zero pressure put up front, it's just that much easier to play him. Yeah. And game situation is so much of the same. Because if you're desperate, then Rashid is that kind of economical bowler, bowling in the stumps, continuously hitting at you, that it's very difficult to get, get him off. Yeah. So if you're trying to get him off, he, he's going to get wicked. Yeah, but he, they, haven't, they haven't let him get away with it. They haven't just played him out this yeah, year. Yeah, they've hit him. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah, actually taken to him. They're going at 8. I think yeah. he's going at almost 8 plus. Yeah, they're taking to him, which is, something, I think. Yeah. It's unusual. Yeah, 8.65. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So, over 8.5 runs and over. So, he's continuously going for about 35. Mm. Uh, but, but interesting. 34 just, in every game. Yes, yeah, just look at that. It's very interesting that even in 23, he went for 8.24, but he got 27 yeah. wickets. Yeah. You know, 17 of 27 and he's clearly not going at that pace this time because obviously there is that issue about you know other wicket takers if you remember last year that troika yep. uh, rashid mohit and shami got all of them got 20 i think wickets. they got 80 wickets between yeah. them yeah 80 wickets the three of them got 80 wickets between them i think another thing that probably takes the economy up is that he's also bowling one death over yeah Pretty much, or two uh, and, in every game. And uh, you know, I've said it before. I think at the start, towards the start of the tournament, we have to now start looking at these economy rates for bowlers and just adjusting them up a little bit. Yeah. Because yeah. of the impact yeah, 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 substitute, yeah, absolutely, the, absolutely, the, the, absolutely. the length in the batting uh, department for all teams. You know, you've still got genuine batters coming in sometimes at seven and eight against you. So the the ex expectations of economy rate, I think, just have to be raised a little bit from a yeah. bowling point of view. So I don't expect... Look, he will have games where he's still only going for six, six and a half, maybe even five and a half. He'll still have great games. But I think in general terms over the tournament, if he's still going for around about seven and a half, eight, I think he's still doing a very good job from a spin bowling point of view. So just uh, adjust our sights a touch up from a bowler's economy rate. Fair point. enough. And just to give... Additional context to that, if a bowler is going at 8.5 means the team is giving away 170 in 20 overs and ask any bowling team, yeah. they are happy to give 170. Absolutely. Today's day in the IPL, those targets are marked up. Yeah. I mean, remember when we see a 160 nowadays, we say it's a Kane Williamson yeah. chase. <laughs> it's a slow yeah. chase. Yeah. 160, yeah. you know, 7-8 years back would be a serious total in the IPL. Yeah. Unless, unless it's like a really, like it's a sleeping beauty of a wicket. Yeah. yeah. You're taking 170 uh, any day. All right, let's have a look at the Gujarat uh, team, the 11 that they're taking. This, of course, is their uh, bowling 11. So... Uh, you have the change up top. There's Matthew Wade, who's going to be a wicketkeeper and opening with uh, Shubman Gill. Sai Sudarshan at three. They've still got Vijay Shankar in there. Abhina Manohar. Uh, so he'll do a little bit of enforcing. Uh, there, there's Rahul Tivati. You're going to have another batter coming so you'll in. You'll get another batter. Yeah. yeah, they'll bat second. So there'll probably be another batter who'll slot in above Rahul Tivati. Mm, yeah. Rashid Khan. So let's look at their bowlers. There's Umesh Yadav, Mohit Sharma, Spencer Johnson. Uh, you've got the two spinners in uh, Noor Ahmad and Rashid Khan. And uh, that's it. Who's who's bowling for you? Well, well, Shankar Vijay Shankar or, or Tewati are Jankar. the options, but they'll want... And that's why I say, so from a from an RR point of view, just go at someone. Force the issue. Force yeah. Shubman Gill to make a change. If you can, go hard at one of those bowlers and then you have to get Shankar or, or Tewati You've seen Sai Sudarshan bowl the previous season as well. I think if I remember correct, Sai Sudarshan has bowled the previous yeah, season as well. But uh, yeah, 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 you have. You're right. You have to force yeah. Shuman Gill into. Yeah, and if you look at it, say there are there are some things out there that they need to be a bit careful about because say they need to finish Umesh early. I mean, yeah, our yeah, experience yeah, yeah. of Umesh in the last four or five years has been he bowls a great first couple of overs. He's really good. Your next two, you have to find a way to get it. They've in been bowling last game. They bowled him three in. I think yeah, up front. And they, they have to finish him before like, 13, like 14. Three and then 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. You can't go if, further if than going, that. As long as he doesn't go for more than. You have a start against Jaiswal and Butler. If he doesn't go for more than 20 in his first two, 
Get a third. I'd go again. Yeah. I would go again. If he has one really expensive over, yes, you'd probably take him out of the equation. But if he doesn't go for more than 20, 21 in his first two, yeah. I would say go again. He picks up because a he's your most useful. He gives you value up front. Mm, let's say he gives you the max value. Yeah. yeah, let's have a look at the Rajasthan team as well. They are going to be batting first. So this is going to be their uh, batting 11. We can pull that up. Uh, they've got the one change. They've got uh, Kuldeep Sen, who has come into... Uh, but anyway, this is their batting team. Mm. So let's have a look at that. Joss Butler, Yashasvi Jaiswal, Sanju Samson, Ryan Parag, Shemin Hetmaya, Dhruv Jurel. So that means no Bolt. Uh, no, Bolt is already there. There's no burger. There's yeah. no burger. Burger, no burger comes yeah. in. No. Right, right. Burger so they'll have a bowler come in. So they'll probably get burger in... Uh, you know, uh, one of them will. We'll all have a burger later. We'll have a burger. <laughs> Joy had one last night, yeah. actually. Very nice, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he Should went we that way. Yeah, Max Street. Mm. Should we get one today? Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah. So they, they bring an overseas player in. Yep. Um, which, as you Because they've got burger. three planes there, they yeah. can park a fourth one. Yeah. Cool Deep Sen, exciting. I mean, we've seen glimpses of him, good pace. Uh, so that, that's a great option for them. So they have four genuine, this, that's what I say about there. This is the side that benefits the most. Yep. When it comes to the impact substitute, you think you bring Berger and you've got two quality left armors, yeah. Avish Khan, a quick right armor in Kuldeep Sen, and then two world class spinners. But you see what they're doing. I'll tell you now what happens here, which is it's not been an area of concern so far. We'll keep that playing 11 up for just a second. And see, they, they are batting first, right? Mm. Now, the reason also they're probably batting Ashwin at five is that that allows them to extend their batting a little bit, because otherwise they're actually still playing with six proper batters. Right, so a yeah. day you lose a couple up front, mm. this batting lineup or this short batting lineup, short but solid batting lineup has not yeah. been tested yet. Yeah, correct. We, are, I'm totally with you. Yeah. This is not a team that has lots of options in hand. Mm. Yeah. They bat. Ashwin is at seven. You're right. Ashwin at seven is. I think it's a bit high for Ashwin in this format of the game. Yeah. He's got test centuries and all. We can quite understand, but yeah, he's high. And the day they collapse up front. Then they'll, this is you're absolutely right. This is a team which that's their Achilles heel. Yeah. And last year, what happened? Butter didn't give them starts. They got runs from Yashasvi and Jurel, but none of the others gave them runs. And the moment their batting was in trouble, the bowling then had too much to do very often. Yeah. This is, it could be right. Is that the reason why you think? Because Ashwin at five has been successful in terms of if the game slows down, which it happens when you lose early wickets. He did, I, you, know, you remember him, mm. I think it was a Nokia that he hit a couple yeah, of sixes yeah. off. Yeah. I mean, everybody hit sixes off Nokia that game. Uh, but he hit a few and then can just force the issue. Like in the 11th over, suddenly you get 13, 14 runs and just rattle the, uh, the cage a bit for the bowlers. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the option they use, isn't it? If, if, if they need him to come in and solidify the innings a little bit, if, if those top three, four get going, if Parag's going, then yeah, you then just stick with it, Jurel and Hitmeyer bat the last five, six overs, that's fine. If they lose a wicket early or two wickets early, then that's when Ashwin's tended to come in, isn't it? Just to yeah. solidify things a little bit and just to lengthen that batting yeah. a touch so that they've still got that power coming in the 13th, 14th, 15th over. Mm. That's, that's the reason behind it. Um, it I, just happens that really none of their bowlers bat. Yeah. You look at a lot of the other teams, one or two of their bowlers can actually bat. Yeah. But whereas Trent bowled at eight, all due respect, Trent, uh, he's hit more <laughs> sixes in Test cricket as a number eleven than anyone. He yeah. can hit the ball out of the park. He's got a great eye, but it's an eye that will probably come off. You know, once a season might get you 15, 20, 25 off of six or seven balls because he can hit the ball long. But I think eight is probably when you look at other teams in comparison, probably a little bit high. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that we were talking about Jail not making it to that plane because he's really not been. In India, I mean, you can't bat him above 9 or 10, I mean. Yeah, uh, I'm going to give you uh, an eye-popping. Uh, we, we were just talking about it and, well, never take anything for granted here because Berger is not in the impact sub list. Ooh. Maybe that's why they're playing Kuldeep Sain there because they have Kesha Maharaj. It looks like it may just be Kesha Maharaj who will come in, but no. they'll have three spinners. I really doubt it. No, uh, Powell, they, Powell will come in to strengthen that batting lineup. Powell will come in in case they lose, especially if they lose. No, even if they don't lose, Powell can come in. Mm. Yeah, see, they're Correct. batting first. So this yeah. is what they do. Yeah. Powell, Powell's got the roughest game yeah. because they so, keep him padded up. <laughs> then he doesn't get. Jai Swallow just yeah, basically Powell. once he's out, his job yeah. for the done is, for the night is done. Yeah, you would imagine. So. Powell will come in, give them power at six. Yep, on seven, at, uh, five or six, yeah, five it's, or six, six and seven. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, they just bowl with their bowling. Gujarat is looking at that and saying, Gujarat is looking at that, is Rajasthan's 5-6-7, Hetmeyer, Powell and Dhruv Jurel? Yeah. 
Oh, Lord. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Good luck bowling in the death. <laughs> this is yeah. like the Mumbai engine room yeah. in the heydays. Yeah. The Pandya brothers and Pollard. Yeah. Mm. Oh, basically the three Pandya brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This is where they get it right. I mean, we're sitting there trying to pick apart, thinking burger, burger, but this is where they get it right. Yeah. I just don't, you know, so Bolt will end up being at nine. Yep. Yep. Not at eight, which is, which is fine. Mm. Ashwin will end up being at eight, which is absolutely fine. And if they fine. don't need, if they don't need the batter. Yeah. Right, if they don't need the batter, Maharaj, then the board, third three spinners. Well, wow, they've spinner. obviously seen something in his service and played three spinners. They've also got, uh, I mean, yeah, oh wow, this mm. is it's going to see there again. Rajasthan <laughs> is doing something which we can't entirely predict up front. And when you can be unpredictable in this format, geez, that's your extra, that's your extra X factor, isn't it? They've All done right. this in one other match, I think, with Paul who's spied it yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, that's right, he did, and he yeah. was swinging around, but never got to play. <laughs> so they've done that with him uh, a few times. Okay, we've got the Joy Factor question. Again, Simon and me get very excited. We think it's going to be our turn. We'll get it right, but we never get it right. We're a bit like Rodman Powell in the I, impact I think, the, I think this one, he, he, uh, Simon's got a good chance. Oh, oh come oh, on. Seriously. Okay. There's a clue there. Yep. There is. Okay, here's a question. This player scored 14 international centuries and has also played basketball in the 2008 Olympic Games. Easy. Which cricketer? Yeah, I know this. Michael Jordan. <laughs> I like it. No? I like it. LeBron James. I just named basketballers yeah, yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> no? No. Yeah. Okay. No? Nobody? But ah, it's... yes, I do. I know. I know. You know. Yep. Yep. I know he knows. I know. I know he Straight knows. Straight away. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I got it. I got, at least I got the twist. I've read the turn correct. You've read the turn correct, but that's Can it. Can tell people? No, of course you can't. They get it anyway. Come on, let them at least think for five minutes before you give it. Okay, so I'll just say if you knew, if you knew who they are. Yeah, okay, fine. Right? I'm not going to say he or she because that will give something away. If you know who they are, the, the, the said person, let us know. Hashtag uh, Crickbuzz Live, hashtag Joy Factor. It's a big hint. <laughs> By yeah, saying well, it's a small hint, yeah, it's a big yeah, yeah. hint. But yeah, okay, anyway. it's well done. It's I'm, a good hint. It's a love well. It's, it's like I've, I've Nolan it. I've Christopher yeah, Nolan it. I've given the hint while saying I'm not giving it. Yeah. Mm. Is it decoy? It's almost like a crossword clue you've given. What's happening with the totem? What is it? Did it fall? Did it keep going? What happened? <laughs> we well, don't know. All right, I just want you to tell me who won the two guesses yesterday. Did Saimi win anything yesterday? Uh, no. She did. Joy got... Shy. Excellent. Well, so, uh, what happened with the... Saimi is... She plummeted. Yeah, yeah. She came down? She's fourth. plummeted fourth place. Where did Manoj I... is up. At number Manoj, went, Manoj got one right. So Manoj is oh, just... Oh, right? right? No, Manoj no, is just ahead of you. He I didn't work, but he was ahead of you. So, that's what I'm saying. This yeah, yeah. this game is skewed towards people who are sitting at home. at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Stay at home. Yesterday, I stayed at home. Yeah. And I moved up the chart. This is just... I don't want to play it, I just want to go home. <laughs> Please let me go home. <laughs> Please. All right, Rajasthan batting first in uh, Jaipur. How many are they going to get? Oh, jeepers. Uh, 196. 188. I actually was also thinking of low bowling. I'll actually, I, I will low ball. 171. Ooh, 171. Yeah. Okay. That's very far away from <laughs> 188 and 196. All right, so that's all. Uh, those are our guesses, and that's all we have time for. Uh, thank you so much for watching Craig Buzz Live. We're going to see you at the end of the 10th over. That's when we come with Craig Buzz Combox uh, to show you how Rajasthan is going in their batting. A big thank you to uh, the Gun Show and the Professor. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for being here. I'm Gaurav Kapoor. You were watching Craig Buzz Live. Come on. <laughs> Jaipur Raya Delhi में आपका स्वागत। लखनऊ जंक्शन। नीलांधर कड़ी के हर दिन वाले।